Hey, how you doing? I'm Michael Wiggins, and you're watching UAP TV. And I'm James Miles. Greetings on day three of South by Southwest EDU. We're at South by Southwest EDU 2015. <laughs> We're here in Austin, Austin, Texas, Austin, Texas, at the convention center. It's lovely. Everybody's, you know, well, it's cleared out pretty much. It's the end of the day. We're going to do a little recap of the day, and we're going to talk about tomorrow. This is what we do here on UAP TV. James, what was up today? What did we see? The first thing we saw today, this morning, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. was Everyday Arts Special Education yeah. Adaptive Learning. Yeah. We saw, so we met Sita and Lauren yesterday. They, they're our colleagues, they work with us. They presented around uh, Everyday Arts for Special Ed is a, a professional development program. It's an I3, Invest in Innovation Grant, which yeah. means it's based on research, helps teachers you know, improve their practice in a room. Uh, we believe that good teaching is good teaching. Yeah. What, what, did you, what did you come away from uh, participating in this session? Uh, good teaching is good teaching, and also the use of technology in the classroom. It's not just for tech sake, you're using it for educational reasons. Mm -hmm. So you're not just dropping a laptop in someone's hands and say, play with it. It's use this app or use this program to do this on the laptop to better yourself and to better the classroom environment as a whole. You know, the, 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 I, I, I was hearing that too. One thing I was really interested in is the idea that adaptive technologies, assistive technologies, yeah. are actually things that uh, are good for everyone. Um, it goes along with good teaching is good teaching. Audiobooks, for instance, were developed for the, uh, the visually impaired. However, you know, I use them. I use so, you know, it's improved my life. So that's an interesting thing if we, if we focus on the idea that good teaching is good teaching and that these technologies are for all of us, not just for those who we consider to be, you know, special ed or, or, or different. Yeah. Um, the other session we saw today was License to skill. License to skill. Oh, man. I'm excited about that one because it was Mikey Cordero. He's the man behind the camera. Mikey Cordero was presenting on a panel with, a, you know, a lot of uh, uh, real big, big thinkers. Yeah, yeah. Big Educause, names. Uh, yeah. Tracy Petrillo from Educause. Yeah was really exciting and they were talking about headlines from the future and she said I can't remember what was it she said her headline of the future confidence was is competence confidence leads to competence confidence to competence, competence. the topic of that of that panel was yeah. digital badging UAP yeah. has a digital badging program It's big right now it's yeah. happening on the ground yeah. young people are getting credentialed right. they're learning they're taking the scaffolded steps on their own path which is great big question however is is Will these things be accepted by universities? And the idea that they, you know, do they have any value? I, I hope so. I hope so because that's what Tracy was saying. Confidence. Kids are confident with online gaming, online activity, but now they're becoming competent. They're earning badges. Yeah. And this is seen as something positive, especially in the university. Setting. It's positive in their own lives, but you know, we're wondering if the system will accept these credentials. We're wondering if this is actually going to lead to, you know, a, a better careers or a better life for right. young people. Exactly. All right, I teach in a lot of classrooms. I've also experienced a lot of things over these past couple of days at South by Southwest EDU. Here are my top three things I want to see at UAP in the next few weeks. Number one, blink, blink, teaching young girls to get interested in STEM. So we're doing with the conductive tape and batteries, adding those batteries and conductive tape and lights to scarves and things that young girls may be interested in. I thought it was a great idea. I want to work with these groups. Two young female entrepreneurs. Love it. Thank you, Blink Blink. Next, Chris Davis has mobile recording studios using a cardboard box, glue, and egg cartons. Have a mobile studio in the classroom making music, cuts out the sound. Fantastic idea. Thanks, Chris Davis. Last one, Code Starter, giving free laptops to young students studying coding. Wonderful idea. Wonderful idea. Thank you, Code Starter. Going to contact you. We're going to work together in the future. That's it. Delia, anything else I should talk about? Okay, that's it. Um, we got to look about uh, look forward. Wow. Day three, day three is coming. We're wondering what's happening tonight. Day four is coming. Day four. Oh my God! Yeah. It's day four. Day four is tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to go see uh, Preeti Birla, David Fu, Leah Gilliam, and Ashley Rudolph at oh. a session called "Redefining EdTech Innovation: New York City as a Case Study." Leah Gilliam is uh, the leader of the Hive, yeah. and uh, she, you know, she facilitates all that work in New York, and that we're part of. Yeah. Uh, the Hive is a digital network. Yeah. And David Fu is from 4.0, 4 yeah. who, of course, are heroes and champions yeah. in the field. What time is that? Uh, what time is that? That's 9 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, oh man! You know what's at 9 a.m. tomorrow? <laughs> Fresh Prep, interactive journey through history using hip hop music and process drama. James, I can't be in two places at once. Can't be in two places I at cannot once. teleport. No, no I no. have tried. We've tried. But we're going to be presenting tomorrow Fresh Prep Generations, which is an interactive hip hop workshop around social studies and history. Uh, I do hope it's fun. I know it's going to be whenever we do it in the classroom. Very good, very good. Exciting. 11 a.m., Fresh Prep, the holodeck. What's that? It's, it's an interactive environment where there's no teacher. Students interact with uh, history by themselves and are driven, much like badging, to be better.
students. Exciting. So in the playground, it's an interactive space, and Jamel Mims, our colleague, is going to be in there. Yes. Um, but I'm really excited, and I do hope people go to see David Fu and 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 the rest of that gang talking about redefining ed tech, you know, uh, innovation in New York City because we're part of that community. And uh, I'll be looking at the the Google Notes. They have this great Google Notes system here where you can be online with everybody talking yeah. about what you just experienced. So right. that's new learning for us here too. You know, about how to access technology and use it for having a real live, you know, like moment to moment conversation. Exactly. In any case, uh, Delia. You excited about anything? Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn's coming tomorrow. That's right. Ah. Yeah. With Khan Academy. Khan Academy, Saul Khan. Now, yeah. you know, I think he probably is like the biggest well known name in the uh, field right yeah. now, right? In terms of coding and. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried any of those courses online? I've tried. I've I have tried. tried calculus, which, you know, I had a terrible time with calculus <laughs> in high school. I tried yeah. calculus, and I just have to say, it was no more fun in Khan Academy than it was in real life. But in any case, I'm really interested in the way he's pushing this whole thing forward. Um, I'm really interested about, you know, well, my reaction to it. I'm wondering how young people are going to respond if yeah. the world has moved to this online platforms for learning. Um, I didn't find it as invigorating as, uh, as I might have liked, but I do know it's effective. Um, in any case? Any, any case. We're done for the We're game. wrapping it up, wrapping people. It up. Yeah, this has been great. Yeah. South by Southwest 2015. This is day, Jane. day three. This is day Who three. am I? Where am I? Last day, day four, tomorrow. Austin, Texas. Tune the in tomorrow. The food here is fantastic. <laughs> we hope to see you next year. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, UAP All right. TV. We're out. We're out. <laughs> okay. <laughs>